Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you today about International Consolidated Airlines Group. Um, I've made a video about this company about three weeks ago I believe and I just gave you the 10 reasons or main reasons why I'm invested in this company. Uh, I believe I mentioned back then as well I invested in this company before the crisis and um, yeah I've just been averaging down while it has been dropping. Uh, what we have seen recently is a big share price recovery uh, around the 116 mark and all now it's trading relatively steady about the 161 mark and um, yeah I just want to give you my thoughts on um, the share price but I'll start to give you my valuation thesis which is something some of you have been asking about so uh, let's have a look. So here you see part of the valuation sheet for the discounted cash flow method. This one is uh, relatively free to use and I think it's pretty easy to use as well. And I'll just go through it real quick. Uh, all the white parts is something that I would fill in. Um, so on the top, the discount rate. Um, here you'd see the, I would type in the free cash flows for the upcoming 10 years. So year one is 2021 right now and year 10 is 2030. Um, here the price to free cash flow what I think it will be trading at and um, yeah other than that um, uh, you can type in the market cap right now to see uh, by how much the company is undervalued in percentages there at the bottom so normally I would use a 15% discount rate because that just is my required rate of return and that makes it kind of easy for me to see okay um, do I want to invest in this company? Like on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm not really worried about um, like the discount of inflation or the, the money value that I lose. So I just look at the 15% rate of return. Um, but for valuation purposes, I think uh, it is more common to use the 7.5%. It's still a bit on the safe side, but um, yeah, it gives a decent uh, present value of the future cash flows. So that's basically why I use that one. Um, when it comes to the free cash flows, like I think in 2021, I'm going to be safe to assume, okay, let's just assume that they won't have any free cash flow. I know they're reducing costs and I know they're probably going to have less uh, aircrafts to lease and stuff like that. And yeah, we probably will see some recovery in air travel, but uh, I just think it's safe to assume that the free cash flow will be zero. And um, while we could see significant free cash flow in the future, in my opinion, um, I'm going to assume that they have some lag in getting to that part. Um, so that's why I just have a slow number of increase. Obviously, these are all estimations. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, uh, I'm gifted into seeing the future or something like that. So these are just my best guesses. Um, it's up to you to decide whether this is conservative or not. I believe this to be relatively conservative of what I know. But um, yeah, and in, in the end, this is all um, about the story that you tell about a company. So taking all that free cash flow into account, and we discount that to the present uh, value, then that would be about 12 billion euros. Um, then obviously, after that 10 year period, we can decide either we're going to hold the company or we're going to sell it. What do we think it's going to be trading at? Um, I took a very safe estimate to think that it's going to be trading at a price to free cash flow of five with a free cash flow of 15. Uh, sorry, so I should change this title, I guess. But that would mean that um, the future value, that's the word of it, is 15 billion euros of the company. And that would make the present value about 7.3 billion. Right now, the company is trading at 8 billion and if we take the terminal value plus the free cash flow value into present value so the free cash flows into present value I should say then we would calculate about 19.5 billion in valuation and that would I would say that on market cap um, on the current market cap that would mean that the company is undervalued let's say about 60 percent is this correct uh, I hope not. That would be very weird because um, yeah, free cash flows are rounded up and all guesses. So, but it gives me my thesis, and I can decide based on this whether I want to invest in this company. If I use a discount rate of 15% with these numbers, 
the undervalued would be about 30 35 percent so it would still be uh is it is currently still trading at a level where i would be comfortable buying however i do think that the share price is a little bit too optimistic for the situation we're in but i'll get to that now so my thoughts there's three things that i would like to share with you um first thing is uh, I believe that the current situation is more uncertain than the share price is showing. Sure, we see an undervaluation, but we've seen an undervaluation in um, in, av in the aviation industry for quite a while now because it's uh, capital intensive and relatively uncertain. We've seen several crashes that affect them uh, in the past 20 years. And yeah, I, I truly think that this company right now with all the uncertainty that is still going on in the world um i'm surprised it is currently valued at 8 billion euros why um well if you think about the the cash flows in the future the the flights the lockdowns yeah sure there is an end in sight because there has been a vaccine or supposedly so but yeah i just think that it's um that to to get like the the full population fully vaccine i think it's going to be like one to two years um and who knows what's going to be uh flying or who's going to be flying up until then we don't know if companies are still going to fly again like their personnel and their employees and stuff like that and those were actually the most profitable uh, tr uh i guess customers so yeah i believe that it is uh, much more uncertain than the share price currently showing is that a reason for me to sell obviously not is that a reason for me to buy well i think i am pretty heavily invested in this company already and yeah i do believe it is still r relatively attractively priced but um the the margin of safety i guess you could say it has become pretty or significantly smaller by the recent run-up um, it makes sense to me that this, uh, there has been a run-up because, yeah, everybody wants to get in these undervalued stocks the moment um, the, the end is in sight because, yeah, then there's money to be made. But since we don't know that, I just like to buy when the stock is going down. On the second part, I would say that I believe that my valuation has been conservative. Maybe you might think if you look at the history of the company and uh, free cash flow that I have filled in for the next uh, or let's say the last five years you might think well that's pretty extreme but I think that this company is on its way to have a completely and entirely new fleet and that would reduce the capital expenditures in those years and um, yeah that's why I think this is pretty conservative and if you think about the termination value and my entire thesis that it's going to be a market leader and have an extra uh, global hub in madrid and all that and i think that this is pretty conservative but yeah who knows it's still it's still it's still an airline so um yeah who knows what's going to happen but um yeah I, I believe that this my valuation is conservative and i would like you guys to tell me whether or not you think it is conservative as well and um yeah maybe you have a valuation as well and uh, you could share that with me and third lastly thirdly um I think the moment there is real certainty, and it doesn't mean that the airlines are going to all fly again, but the moment there is a policy on a global or let's say uh, continental scale where you can get a vaccine uh, or you could get tested before you get into a plane and all that stuff. I think when there has been policies to avoid um, the current lockdowns and the current I guess the entire situation i think we could see a recovery to fair value and it doesn't mean that the, the, the airlines would be entirely operational again like i could see a share price going up in let's say 2022 even though the numbers haven't shown any recovery yet just because we believe that uh, they are going to recover for the next five to ten years and then yeah the free cash flow valuation goes up um that leaves me, I guess, with um, what do I think the share price is worth now? As I mentioned, I believe there is uh, that is a little bit overpriced for the current uncertainty that still is. But I guess that makes sense if you 
take into account all the positive sentiment that is currently be going on at least this week so i could see a share price drop in the in the next two to two weeks or whatever like the next few months I, I don't know short term but taking this valuation into account where i take into account the future cash flows i do believe that the the share price could go uh, to the 250 and the three euro mark um in the mid, short to midterm, depending on when the there is real certainty about the recovery. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, click on the left bottom video if you would like to see my 15 reasons on why I, or 10 reasons I should say, on why I invest in this uh, company. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on this company down in the comments below. Have a nice evening.